Hello everyone and welcome back to the sessions on corporate financial reporting for CMA final exams. Now as you can see what I have highlighted over here in today's discussion it is section E of your syllabus. <coughs> this section E of your syllabus is targeting recent development in financial reporting. So what all is included within recent developments in financial reporting and how you need to prepare this I am going to give you introduction over here. First of all this whole section comprise of 10 percent weightage in your exam that is what mentioned in the initial pages of your CFR module correct. So here most of the discussion I have taken exactly as given in your module but some places where I found that your module has not given proper information and where some calculative examples or explanation was needed I have included additional notes over there. So let me tell you this part is fairly simple not much complication easy going there are 11 topics within recent developments in financial reporting 11 topics I am going to discuss how you are going to cover up each topic which topics will require uh, you know more attention most of the topics in this list you will be finding are topics of general awareness where I do not find a need to you know provide any content from my side but what happens generally what students have been requesting me earlier that sir at least if you can give overview about what exactly this is all about we will be able to understand it better and that makes sense and definitely we are going to do that. So as I said the last two sections of your syllabus that is section E and section F both are very very simple. Section F is basically government accounting in India which I have covered separately and this section comprises of 11 topics under the head recent development in financial reporting. Let us start observing what are these 11 topics first of all. So this module includes these are the 11 topics let us discuss each of these one by one. First 4P bottom line reporting this is a topic where the content that I have given you is better than what is given in your institutes material but yes after listening to my video lectures you must watch the content of your institute material as well and read it out make sure that you are able to understand the whole thing. Now next sustainability reporting and global reporting initiative followed by business responsibility and sustainability report both of these are little bit interconnected and uh, yes again these are topics of general awareness believe me even if I do not discuss these topics if you just read it out on your own you will be understanding but yes overview and some explanation which is required to be delivered from my side I will do that. So critical topics I am going to mark over here critical topics the critical topics in this list will be 7.1 that is 4P bottom line reporting then easy going topics sustainability reporting and uh, business responsibility yeah another critical topic could be integrated reporting then CSR after that it could be economic value added that is all these are little technical kind of topics where some enhanced understanding will be required these topics you have to put major focus on and keep in mind one thing all 11 topics listed over here all taken together will be comprising of 10 percent weightage in your exam. So uh, you may expect particularly MCQs being asked from this particular segment. So what I am going to do 
I am going to include each topic separately at length and most of the topics as you can see topics like these more of general awareness topic. So, I will be giving overview after listening to the overview that I have given when you are reading through the content given in your institutes material in case you have any doubt or difficulty you know you can approach to me without any trouble. Most of you will be already having my direct phone number, but in case you do not have you can note it down. In case of any difficulty anything where you need my guidance my support you can put a whatsapp message directly at this number. Most of the times when I am taking classes my phone is on silent I do not pick the calls directly. So, if any student is having any trouble they should prefer putting a whatsapp message and most of the times I will give the clarification through a voice note if required I can you know take a separate lecture recorded for that query or I can take an online class and clarify that out for you one on one basis also depending on how intense your doubt is and how needful your question is. So, please uh, make sure that your preparation of this entire subject is very well that is why I am also putting efforts to even record the easy bit part of your syllabus. So, that coverage given from my side is 100 percent complete. So, you have my contact number in case of difficulty you can always get in touch with me. So, let us begin with the sequence of classes on recent developments in financial reporting happy learning to you.